Hello everyone, welcome to week 8 of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering throughout the week. Let's start looking at our agenda and the lessons and what we have on our action plan. First, we're going to be reviewing for the A1 exam that is October 23rd. So on the 22nd, we're going to be reviewing some slideshows and going over multiple choice questions and charts or maps that you'll be um, having to label or to answer on the exam. Then after we take it on the 24th, we'll be moving on to European colonization. So we're going to be looking at that and the building nations lesson. The biggest question that we're going to be focusing on is what was the impact of European colonization in North America? How did England gain power over most of North America? We're going to basically be picking things up after we had introduced the North American Indian culture regions and, you know, um, how they even found America to begin with. So this is where we'll be picking up. This is about the third lesson in your Sabas book. When we're looking at European colonization, we're looking at the impact of European colonization in North America. We're going to look at the two terms, New Spain and New France. We're going to compare what happened to Ind American Indians and the treatment of each kind, depending on where they were. When we then move on to building nations, we're going to be focusing on the United States and Canada. How did the United States gain independence? What challenges did the United States face after independence? And how did Canada become a nation? So we're going to be looking at the Quebec Act, Dominion, the Great Depression, and the Civil Rights Movement in depth through um, a general discussion about the American Revolution, which you guys are going to be role-playing and exploring some concepts in the Constitution and how the government was actually set up. So here you're going to be looking at a lot of history, which is some of what you guys were waiting for in the course. A lot of people like to look at historical backgrounds of regions, so this is definitely one that's going to be integrating that. And we're going to talk about the conflict that they had with Britain as well. So through that, we're going to also integrate an analysis um, of images. So you're going to be like breaking down paintings and seeing what they depict according to the historical event or, um, you, you know, concept that's being present, presented. So this is one of the paintings at the victory of the Battle of Trenton um, that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at what it depicts, so a summary of what we think it relates to and why it matters, why this painting was made um, as an imprint of the historical event in general. Then we're going to look at, use our geography skills. We always try to integrate a map analysis. So we're going to be looking at how the United States to several major steps in expanding the region from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Some of the activities that we're going to be doing, as mentioned, are going to be painting analysis, um, role play, uh, exploring some digital museums for pictures, cause and effect charts and interactive maps through our SEBAS. This is going to be a very quick week since we have a review and our exam. So make sure you um, ask any questions that you need to um, on the review day and, you know, that you utilize the BC pages, packets, and class notes and activities that we've done. So I will be um, also guiding you guys to yours, towards how to utilize the study guide that's going to be posted for you on the review page and even on the separate page itself. The exam covers unit one, as mentioned. So none of unit two will be on there. Make sure that you are on track so that you don't fall behind before the exam and after the exam as well. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, email me or you can find me in person to address any of your concerns. And best of luck.